Good morning and welcome to um, the seventh annual Big Talk from Small Libraries. Um, this is Big Talk from Small Libraries 2018. I am your host, Krista Porter. I am the Library Development Director here at the Nebraska Library Commission, um, hosting uh, this online, this free online conference from right here in the center of the country. Uh, Big Talks from Small Libraries is an event um, highlighting small and rural libraries across, um, the, across the country, uh, both the United States and Canada. We have presenters for this morning. Um, this is a free one-day conference. We're going to be here all day today together. I will be hosting um, with you throughout the day. Um, each of our speakers is from a small library or works directly with small libraries. Uh, for our purposes, for this conference, our definition of small libraries is a uh, population served or a um, for university full-time enrollment of 10,000 or less. So we are talking small. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a great uh, agenda for you today. We've got some uh, public libraries, some academics, universities, colleges, and even some presentations about K-12 uh, schools uh, grouping together with other libraries. So um, we have a really great range of sessions today. We have uh, seven 50-minute sessions on the hour and then a noontime lightning rounds where we will have five really quick, one, two, three, four, five, um, 10-minute quick sessions. So. Um, that is what is coming up for the day. The login information, the login link you have used today, you can use throughout the day. You can stick around and watch, uh, um, be with us for the entire day if you like, or you can pop in and out as you like. If you um, can only attend a certain session or only interested in a certain session, use that same link to come and go as you please. The entire day is being recorded, so it will be posted later onto our website in our archives. It will take a little bit of time to edit down that information, but it will be posted onto the website later. Um, if you have any questions throughout the day, there is a questions section in your GoToWebinar interface. If you were here early, you saw some slides showing that. Use that questions section, type in there for any of our presentation presenters, ask, um, type in there, and I will grab your questions. I'm monitoring that here on my computer and pass it on to our speakers for the day. Um, Big Talk from Small Libraries is sponsored by both the Nebraska Library Commission and the Association for Rural and Small Libraries. Um, together we um, put together this um, event and host it and promote it uh, throughout the year. And um, joining us on the line today from ARSL is uh, Judy Calhoun. I'm just, um, good morning, Judy. Good morning, Krista. And Judy is the um, previous ARSL president, correct? Past president, yes. Past president of ARSL, correct. Um, Julie Elmore is on the line as well. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. And you are the 2018 conference chair for the ARSL conference coming up. I am. In September, I believe, correct? Yes, September 13th. Okay. <laughs> and also, we have Meredith Wickham. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning. And I believe you are membership chair? I am membership and marketing. Yeah. Membership and marketing. All right. Um, so I'm just going to hand over to you guys to take away and tell us a bit about what's going on with ARSL and the upcoming conference um, and welcome people this morning before we get started. Great. Okay. Thank you, Krista. Well, we are very excited to be here again and help sponsor this wonderful event. I am standing in today for our current president, Karen Hickson, and our incoming president, Lisa Lewis, both who could not be here today. So, uh, and with me today, as you said, is uh, our conference chair, Julie Elmore, and our m, &M chair, Meredith Wickham. So we'll get started. ARSL was first established in 1982. ARSL's home base was at Clarion University in Pennsylvania until 2007. It then became an independent organization with an expanded board and committee structure. Our first conference as an independent organization took place in Sacramento, California in 2008. And since then, we've made a concerted effort to move the conference around the country each year. Two of the association's most popular benefits are the website and the listserv. Members have access to a wide variety of rural information and news in one location on ARSL's website, a one-stop shop for all things rural, 
and our listserv allows members to regularly share their success stories and engage in group problem solving on rural library issues. Our online members only roundtables are a great way to take conversations off of the listserv for a more in-depth discussion on various topics. Whether you are brand new to libraries or a seasoned administrator, we all know that we can learn from each other. Our members' willingness to share ideas and skills along with their expertise that we all carry over from whatever our previous experience were makes us a wonderful opportunity to learn and to improve our library skills. One of the best ways for you to find out what ARSL is all about is to join us and become a volunteer. Volunteers can help in a number of ways, including participating in com committee work, representing ARSL at local and state gatherings, and being a part of the conference. Our website has information on volunteering, but you have to be a member to join the fun. Our newsletter is another way we interact with our membership by sharing tips and articles from featured libraries about ways that they have been successful and everything from policy writing to grants and programs. Um, we use it as a platform to share organizational news and opportunities with each other. We pride ourselves in our commitment to providing a conference that is 100 percent applicable to those in small and rural libraries. Our sessions are, set, are selected specifically to be tr practical and full of replicable ideas that you can readily apply when you get back home. Much like Big Talk for Small Libraries, we are focused on the needs of small and rural communities. But along with focused programs, ARSL's annual conference provides an opportunity for face-to-face -face networking at a very reasonable price. ARSL is incredibly affordable. You will not find a better deal anywhere for your membership dollars. With rates beginning at $15 a year, your membership provides access to professional development opportunities, advice from the listserv, ample ways to network, member roundtables, and of course, many ways to volunteer together. And just announced um, to our membership last week, a little sneak peek of our newest benefit, ARSL membership now allows you to join the Library of Congress's credit union to where you can now imagine having your own Visa card with a picture of the beautiful Library of Congress building on it. Oh, nice, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the thing that we hear the most when we ask people what they like best about ARSL is the warm and welcoming nature of our members. This is a group of people who are all about doing what it takes to serve their communities. And you guys know that, I'm sure, the people who are listening today. No matter the obstacles, um, we're about serving our communities. Um, relevant ideas are shared and lasting friendships are formed not only at our annual conference, but also on our listserv. So many of us walk away from our first ARSL conference feeling like we have finally met our tribe. I know I did. It's a wonderful way to meet people who understand the unique challenges and special joys of working in rural and small libraries. Our board members are open to our members and we encourage participation by the membership. The board meets every other month and various committees meet on the off months. The dates and links to the Zoom online meeting is posted on our homepage. ARSL is a volunteer led organization and the board is classified as a working board, meaning they spend a number of hours of their own time working hard to make ARSL the best it can be, whether they are chairing a committee working on policies, or doing other work of the organization. We are a growing organization with over 850 members and a record number of conference attendees. We are able to become more involved with national partners. This year we worked with IFLA, the International Federation of Library Associations on their Global Vision Project, with Web Junction on their Small Libraries Create Smart Spaces Project, with the Young Adult Library Services Association on their Future Ready with the Library Project, and with the Chief Officers 
members of State Libraries Association and the Institute of Museum and Library Services on Measures That Matter, a national initiative. As you can see, this is a great time to become involved with ARSL. We hope that you'll be able to join us in Springfield, Illinois this year, September 13th through 15th, when we will be linking libraries in the land of Lincoln. Our location this year is along the historic Route 66. It is also home to a Frank Lloyd Wright home. Um, and it's also only a quarter mile from the Abraham Lincoln Museum and Presidential Library. And yes, we will have discount tickets available um, to tour that facility. Early bird member rate for conference is expected to be around $275, which will include all but your two evening meals. And we are also very excited to announce that our keynote author speaker this year is Elizabeth Berg. Other exciting events will soon be shared on our website and on our Facebook page. Um, registration and housing will open around April 3rd, so we hope to see you all in the land of Lincoln this fall. All right. Thank you, and, and there you are. Yes. Don't need to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just wanna thank everybody for the opportunity to share the Association of Rural and Small Libraries with you. And if you're not a member, we hope to welcome you to our organization soon. And if you are a member, we thank you for your support and we hope to see you in September at the conference. In the meantime, we wish you a great day of learning with stable internet connections during this fantastic online conference today. <laughs> Yes, Thank cross you. your fingers that we'll have no problems there from our end. <laughs> um, um, thank you very much, Judy, Julie, and Meredith. That was um, a great welcome. Um, I will I would definitely um, put in my two cents about um, ARSL as well. I have attended the conference myself, uh, and it is definitely, it is, it is small. Um, I don't know if it's even smaller than some other conferences I've been to size wise, but it just feels like it is um, like you're saying it's your people, your tribe. And um, if you are small rural and I and in and, and any of those in not just um, not just rural, but just small, even in a larger city or anything, there's something there for everyone. It's a great event. And I highly recommend if you're anywhere nearby, <laughs> can get there, can drive there, can um fly, whatever, <laughs> try and make it there. Swim, yeah. we'll, we'll take you any way you can get there. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we have one question for you guys, actually, that did come through. Um, the dues to join um, ARSL, what are they based on? Are they based on salary? Is there just set, um, how is that done? Um, I believe there are salary levels um, and also yes. based on whether you're retired or a student or right, right. Um, a trustee um, or a working professional in libraries. Right. All right. Awesome. So um, look at look on the tech, check out their website for more details. Awesome.